Hey y'all, it's Lulu and today I'm going to do the Earth Sign Spiritual Conversation. This is my third time trying to get this video together and hopefully it won't cut off this time. Alright, now then, uh, any information that you need is in the description box. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see here. You can also get the 9 Day Journey to Mindfulness on my website or Amazon.com. Alright, now then. What do you have these beautiful people in attendance here today? Seek adventure, adventure seeker. Allowing your inner child to run wild. You know what I get with this here? Something about a lagoon, something about beginning to paint a canvas, beginning to paint a picture, beginning to see the bright, the brighter side of things here. Let me see here. A lot of childhood memories as well that may take you on um, a tailspin into something new. What is this adventure card? Consciousness. Right? All right. So I'm seeing here, but there's a lot of a lot that is coming to the forefront of just overall of your awareness here. You may even be in a meditative state or moving into a meditative state in order to connect with whatever this is that you are seeing. This is like um, the temple path as well, coming out from doing a lot of the work that needed to be done before you could even get to this point, right? Having a blank canvas and then beginning to paint it, but also seeing it from a different perspective here. It's probably a perspective that you can't even discuss with people or explain to them how this works and, and what have you, right? Now, total nothingness. Even though that's not the nothingness card, I just feel like you're connecting in that way, right? Seeing the light at the light at the end of the tunnel, seeing the light in the darkness. I also feel like some of you may be in a space where you are assisting others with uh, crossing over. What information do you have for these earth signs? Check it. Five of Wands, maybe some type of confusion. Some of you may even be in a space where you're going back and forth with yourself on what is real, what isn't, right? You get to that space um, ever so often on the path where it's like your reality shifts, your reality changes, what you deem reality changes, what you deem reality shifts, right? So I do see where you're going back and forth with different, um, maybe passionate projects that you are passionate about here, but also... Um, this has a lot to do with connecting with like minds, connecting with um, your guides, your team, or what have you, with this this white light and these hands connecting here, right? I feel like you're grounded. Even though with a five of one, sometimes people aren't grounded or they may be too grounded or uh, too up in the air. But I feel like you're grounded and now it's time for you to swing into a direction of a massive change, right? What information do you have for these beautiful earth signs? Yep, coming into your own. This is all about bringing color back into your life. This is all about seeing things for what they are. Some of you may be Reiki healers, uh, some type of healer overall, and, and you have filled your cup, and now you are ready to go out into the world and share that, right? But with this flower, flowering, I also feel like you, it's, it's important that you remember to protect yourself. It's also important that you remember... Um, when it comes to connecting, when it comes to uh, sitting in your power here, that you are conscious of that, right? Sometimes you can get to the space where you go back and forth with yourself and not even realize how powerful you are, right? How uh, far you have come, right? Some of you may be reflecting on how far you have come. What information do you have for these beautiful people here today? Receptivity. Be open to receiving new information when it comes to what it is that you will need to give your time, effort, and attention to. Here, this is teaching you receptivity as well. This is teaching you to be more open and allowing instead of pushing, right? Don't be so resistant that you find, have more things to resist, right? If there is, there's something that is coming to you, who, something or someone that is coming to you wanting to help you flower, but you have to be open to receiving this, right? All about that, pull, that push and pull, but also some of you are open um, this channel of the way that you receive information, this channel of um, how you receive information has a lot to do with that childlike enthusiasm, right? Going back to the beginning. What information do you have for these beautiful earth existence, crossing consciousness? All right. 
So there may be a lot of activity, and I did get that. I do remember that. I did get that in one of them, but there's going to be a lot of activity, a lot of orb activity, because I had the big girls out. I guess at one time to use them because I tried those twice and now we here, okay? But what I'm getting here with this existence here, I, I just really feel like you're going to go into this meditative space or this space of um, nothing but sheer and un... Um, filtered clarity right i really feel like there's going to be like um this nakedness excuse me i was itching there's going to be something about being naked to the truth or seeing the naked truth going back to the beginning some of you may even be time traveling jumping timelines here uh receiving a lot of information within that helps you to grow without right um being able to sit up in the stars and be comfortable in that way. Uh oh, can't pick it up. Oh yes, I can. I ain't. Y'all can't see me today. Oh, I can pick it up. I can turn around. Oh, what is this? Past lives. That's what I thought. Going back to that, to the early existence. There may even be some type of um, studying esoteric knowledge. Uh, studying uh, something from one of your past lives, which if you're going to make some type of connect connection. And that also has to do with that connecting that you will be doing with someone else here or something else here. There's a lot of healing energy as well. Very strong healing energy. Um, I also see sal these, these salamanders will mean something to you as well. Before, this, before you take this leap of faith, it's important that you sit in this right sit in the space of receiving what needs to be received focusing on what needs to be focused on this is you finding out what to focus on how to focus how to go into that space where you go into the nothing right because a lot of times um when you meditate you may be expecting certain things it has a lot to do with just connecting right and just being one with the one and pulling yourself out of the rat race pulling yourself out of things that really don't don't um provide any clarity on why you are why you are here I feel like a lot of y'all are going to come to this space where y'all are going to realize once you do slow down, right? Once you get into the space where you're taking your time, once you get into the space where you're ready to take a leap of faith, but also you are, uh, maybe you're slowing down time as well, but maybe you're in the space of um, paying more attention, right? Paying more attention to what needs to be paid attention to. And I feel like that's what they're taking you. They're taking you on this journey of the soul so that you can see that a lot of things that you've been giving your attention to had to do with this world. You are going into a space where you are beginning to see this new vision, this new way of life, this new way. It's, um, you may even be innovative or bringing something, birthing something new into the world. You may have been going so fast that you had to be pulled back into now. Right. You may have been moving so fast and doing so much that you had to be pulled back into right now. Let me see. Clarify these first three cards. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. You've come a long way and now you are resurfacing here. That's uh, Nine of Pentacles is a Virgo card. Right. So maybe you were in Hermit mode. Maybe you were in that space of um, deep contemplation in that space of. Healing and finding out what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. Paying attention to what your attention was drawn to and not just all over the place, right? But overall, with that Nine of Pentacles, I really feel as though you may need some help or you, the help that is coming in is going to um, assist you with shedding a lot of the old weight, a lot of the old skin. What is this? Uh, just clarify what you want to, Chad. Ace of Pentacles, that's going to make that a 10. So I'm, I'm, I really get here that there may be some type of new business, some type of new offer, something coming in that is going to be beneficial if you plant it right. If you put in, uh, till your garden, right? If you plant this seed where it needs to be planted and water it, know what's going to, what is going to, what's going to, what is it going to take for you to water this seed, right? I really do feel like a lot is going on at night. Um, there's a lot of selenite, selenite here, but also... Uh, this has a lot to do with not casting your pearls to swine for some reason. Then you got this turtle. This is you need, having, knowing that you are protected and divinely directed and slowing down, right? Slowing down, that turtle shell is all about protection, right? Um, really allowing yourself to be free in this space, right? Because these are dreams realized, unrealized, or so many different directions that you can go. And that's that clarity that comes through. What information do you have for these beautiful people, Chad? Two of Cups. 
So there may be someone making a romantic gesture, someone that you can really get along with. This may be a resonant soul. This could be you taking your situation to the next level, uh, renewing vows as well, but also coming together. This could be a coming together of your inner divine masculine and feminine in order to integrate this new energy. Before you go on this fool's journey, you're going to have to slow down, allow it to integrate. This new vision is coming in all during, throughout this process. What information do you have for these beautiful people? Five of Pentacles, feeling drained, exhausted. Maybe um, there's a lack mentality, a scarcity mentality. But overall, some of you may not even be able to see um, what is being offered to you here because you um, you move too much into this space. Or maybe this is someone from your past that you don't want to receive anything from because maybe you felt like they weren't enough, they didn't do enough or what have you. Give you enough time, effort, or attention. Give you enough money. I don't know what that is, Chad. But it's like, I don't want to see that shit. Let me see here, Chad. What information do you have for these beautiful people? Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords here. Uh, okay. So these may this may be you taking all this energy or with these. I'm gonna go ahead and just clarify these queens because um there is um an energy here. What is these people there these people may be someone from your past. Maybe you have to decide between these two people, right? And be open to receiving information, take a leap of faith with one of these people. But overall, this may be a, a contour, isn't that what it's called? A friend, a cohort. I, I confuse those words every time. Let me see what these people are talking about. Because I really feel like you need to set certain types of boundaries, especially when you're wide open like this. Because remember, when your light go off, everybody gets to see it. Any and everything gets to see it, okay? So protect yourself as best you can. Your ancestors right here, though. What information do you have here for this Queen of Swords? Okay, so there's an air sign here. That's joyfulness. So there's an air sign here. This could be a Three of Cups situation. Here, this is somebody you can go out with, somebody that wants to reconcile, someone who is, um, you can make things happen with when it comes to the three. This is working with someone in joyful spirit, right? Or being invited somewhere, right? But overall, let's see, because y'all might be in a third party. Ain't got, look, but y'all got the two of cups right here. That's why before you make a decision, you need to slow down. What is this queen of wands? Death. All right, so there's an end coming to this queen of wands here um this may be why y'all are celebrating but there's some type of rebirth here this may even be that you are being rebirthed when it comes to your queen of wands energy if you have fire strongly in your chart but overall this is the end to a queen of wands like if it was a third party situation somebody is out clarify this five of pentacles reunion yeah Someone wants to make an offer to you, but it don't look like you really want the offer. You're really not taking someone serious, right? So someone wants to make an offer to you here. Someone wants to take, like this may be someone who is finally single with this, uh, or maybe you are finally single, but you need to slow down before you make a decision, right? Because everything that's colorful, everything that's vibrant, it's, it's going to feel like you are attracting and everything is happening right on time or what have you, but you need to look deeper into the situation. What is this uh, fool called? A message of love coming through from someone who's finally free. They may be free from this situation and having a rebirth or, let me see, what is this? Uh, what, are, what is this message? Desperate. Despair. Someone who feels like they can't live without you. Slow down there, Charlie. All right? Slow down. Something like they can't live without you. <clears throat> there may be some type of message that comes in here. Cause see, I think this is an actual somebody actually transitioning with this uh, despair coming in. I hope they ain't do it to themselves, but there's so many ways for people to do it to themselves, right? Now, what information do you have here? King of Wands, right? So this could be a, a air sign and a fire sign woman and man. I think that um, there's someone coming in that um, like a. Um, a boss, a relative, someone close to another person giving you some type of message about they are at their wit's end. They love you so much. Like, this is somebody conveying this message to you. But you just got to slow down so that you can realize what's going on before making a decision. <clears throat> somebody from your past. It may even be that you never met this person, but of course there's a resonant soul in her somewhere. And you have a decision to make. Clarify this King of Wands. Yep, tower, frustrating. Um, someone may feel as may make they may be starting an argument, or this may have something to do with 
um, knowing that you have this love coming in and trying to come in and stop you from getting this love or being in love or connecting with whoever this person is, right? What information do you have for my beautiful earth signs? You need to set boundaries and communicate what needs to be communicated, how it needs to be communicated here, because it's very, very important, right? Um, before reunited with somebody, you want to make sure that you got your stuff together, they got their stuff together. It's maybe somebody that ghosted you that wants a reunion with you here, wants to take you out, wants to do something here, but you're going to have to have some type of direct communication. Be straight up. Don't play no games. Just go on here and let it be known what's going on because you have a new vision for your life. You have new ground, right? Breaking new ground. What information do you have for these earth signs? New psychic experiences. Maybe a download that is coming in as well, and it's not time for you to make a decision. That's why they want you to slow down. You got Desiree and Ariel here. Desiree said the time, it's not the fa a favorable time to make a decision, right? It's not a favorable time for you to welcome someone in while you're going through this massive change. However, you can, um, by you saying no, it may take someone into a space of devastation, and they may do anything by any means to try and get you to come around or what have you. But overall, what I'm seeing with this tower card, it's either somebody's way or no way. So be very, very careful with that, right? Be very, very careful with your communication with fire signs at this time for at least the next two to three months. Be very, very careful. Yeah, take time out for yourself here. You so busy taking care of other people and people used to you taking care of them that you ain't taking time out for yourself. So you may notice that in how you are drained, exhausted, how... You are um, may almost uh, let an opportunity slip out of your hands because people have been pulling you in different directions, trying to get you to do different things with diff by different means. Like, oh, you can't do it like that. Well, can you do it like this? It's like, no, it's a no. The fuck? All right. What advice do you have for these beautiful people? Andrew, your light worker God needs you to shine your divine light on others. You know that, right? But overall, what I'm overall what I'm getting, sorry, y'all, my nose killing me is itching. Overall, what I'm getting at is that somebody is trying to start a tower in your life because they see that you're getting a will of fortune. Somebody's trying to start a tower in your life because um, they they don't want somebody else to have you or they are in a space where they'll do anything for your attention they'll do anything to break you down because they do not want you to get this but you're gonna shine on top of that with this new vision so we're gonna leave that alone what is this new vision the higher thing you have a new way of looking at things when it comes to uh relationships right this is a commitment this is uh possibly somebody uh coming in and changing your life right with that reunion too this joyfulness and this this just putting the, an end to this this may be someone that you had to disconnect from this may be someone that um you no longer have feelings for like the feelings are dead what is this hierophant and this new vision you have a new way of looking yeah you don't want no offers right now because ain't none of them um, you're in a space where you don't want an offer possibly from someone that you were in a commitment with. Someone that you, this could even be a mentor that you no longer want, but the mentor fell in love with you and is acting up. See, here's the thing about mentors. You cannot curse what you have blessed. So maybe this is someone who is acting way out of character because you're not supposed to curse what you blessed. If you bless somebody, you're not supposed to be doing all that, okay? This four of cups is saying that no, you're waiting and holding off for what is right. This could even, even be negotiations as well. Someone may be trying to get you not to file for a divorce. They could easily be trying to get you to do uh, see things their way and do things their way as well. Five, yep, it's a fight. Somebody trying to fight with you. Somebody trying to get you to come out of um, how you hold yourself together. It could be uh, a Taurus. But we have all sides for it. Like, this is competition. Someone is trying to get your attention. But you have a new way of looking at things. You have to reintroduce yourself to these people who have this thing. Well, another tower. I think that people are trying to cause a tower. They are trying to cause an upheaval. They're trying to get you mad. They're trying to get you off your stick. King of Wands again. Look, I'm going to let that. I'm going to leave it alone because now they're being repetitive. Now, there is a King of Wands or some fire sign. That is highly upset about you not taking the bait. A fire sign is highly upset by you not, um, by you having this tool. Cause a, a fire sign is highly upset, possibly somebody from past lives. This cause like conflict, drama, they insecure or what have you. Someone don't want to see you happy. Okay, this is your happiness. This is your happiness. Here, somebody is in love with you. They obsessed. Be careful with that obsession, especially this year, cause obsession is not. Um, what it looks like 
It's not flattering, okay? Uh, a session can very much so this year be very much so more deadly than it has been in the past few years. So you need to be very careful with that. Uh, if you're going to make somebody mad, make somebody jealous, you better have some type of protection because people are going out on a limb. So you want to be careful of that. But overall, this is a beautiful message as long as you stick to your guns, earth signs. All right. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Bye.